Should you waive your contingency periods, specifically due diligence and financing and appraisal? This is a question we get asked a lot and really comes up a lot in competitive environments where there's multiple offers on the property. That's really what causes buyers to want to pull back and, and remove some of these contingencies. Removing due diligence contingency, we'll talk about that first. There's a lot of risk to that because you're kind of in a essence saying, hey, we'll buy the house as is without doing any research or investigation on the property, which in my opinion, is super risky. Unless you've seen the title report and really dove into the physical condition of the property, you don't really know what you're getting into. And one bad find can really sour a deal. And so I highly discourage people from waiving these periods. If you want to make your offer a little bit more appealing, maybe just make a portion of your earnest money non-refundable upon acceptance, but still have that due diligence period so that should you find anything in there that's just a big deal killer like a collapsed sewer line or meth in the home or some issue on the title report that you're able to then pull the plug and get out of the deal and maybe just lose a portion of your earnest money. And then same with waiving your financing and appraisal deadline. A lot of buyers may be super confident in their lendability and their ability to get a loan and the ability for the property to appraise. You can waive those contingencies. However, it's just risky because you never know what could happen. And it's nice having a few exit plans should worst case scenario come up. There is a section in the contract that is helpful and it's section 8.3 of the real estate purchase contract BI talks about where you can make a portion of your earnest money non-refundable after due diligence. So after you do your inspections, you can say, hey, we're going to make $500 or $1,000 non-refundable after due diligence, but before the financing and appraisal deadline. And that can be a good way to make your offer a little bit more solid. So rarely do I think it's a great idea to waive all your contingencies unless you've been able to really do a good thorough check of the property before you even put the offer in. We have had buyers do inspections on properties before they've even had it under contract. If they knew about it and act quick, they can get in there and then they can make a more aggressive offer. But typically just some non-refundable earnest money can act as the same formula to motivating a seller to accept your offer. If you put say five or $10,000 non-refundable on the deal, and then you're capping your risk instead of saying, Hey, I'm on the line for the whole deal. I have no way to back out, etc. So hopefully that gets your brain flowing a little bit on some negotiation tactics and waiving some of these periods. Again, we're not a fan of it. If you can still get the deal done by having a due diligence and finance and appraisal period, that is ideal.